the Brenner Brothers. That's us. I think they said they said the Beretta Brothers. Oh, that's a weird coincidence. Yeah. Happy uh, sorry, we're late, day. guys. We just had a little technical issue, but yes, is anybody having a hard time connecting or getting on? Did anybody have a, a difficult yeah. time connecting to this? Uh, happy Valentine's Day! To I like to wish Happy Valentine's Day to my 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 Dolly girl, Christina. Um. Mwah. Uh, I'll Jean. go with. I have. Um, I have Grace Kelly with me. Today. Oh, how nice! But we have a very special Valentine with us today. And she said she would be my Valentine. My, she said she'd be mine. Mine. Louise Gold is here. She's my Valentine. Let's go. Real quick, Bill, would you um, join me in giving a birthday shout out to someone very special named Aiden, who's 21 today. He was going to go to Disneyland, but because of COVID, plans fell through. So I said we'd say a, a happy birthday to him because he's a huge Muppet fan. Happy birthday, happy Aiden. Happy birthday, Aiden. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I might know. I don't know. Get, wait, let me get it. No, it's not a pimple. It's like an old spot right on the on my bridge of my nose. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, okay, so really quick, uh, you want to do your shameless plugs? Uh, the Brother uh, Brothers dot com, uh, where you can uh, you can go there and yes. subscribe and join our and uh, join our mailing list. Yes, please. And GeneBeretta dot com, where you can find all of his cool books and artwork, and uh, it's a little bit of porn. I dressed up for Valentine's porn. Day. Yeah. Come on, ladies, yeah. come and get me. <laughs> I'm what you call a trophy. Come trophy and get me with your little, your little boat, your <laughs> little heart on your. I shouldn't say that. Louise is listening and she's, she's supposed to be my Valentine. She's my Valentine. No. All right. We have a lot of folks here. Lauren's here. We got Henri Greenberg, Nick Kramer, Van Gaffney, Marshall Grover, Jesse Oliver, Kyle Lindsay, uh, Denise Claire, uh, uh, Scott Joy, the fabulous. Jo oh, Gene, do we have. Or Scott Joy. The Beretta Brothers. The Beretta Brothers. <laughs> uh, Lorna Dallas is with us. Hello, Lorna. And okay. All right, it's enough gabbing. Aiden Gallery's here. Rocco Rotten. Okay, let's do it. Let's bring on, ladies and gentlemen, the woman you've been waiting for. Louise Gold. Hello. Hello, darling. So I'm here. Uh, hi. How you. are you? I'm very well. I'm I'm so happy to be here with you. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad you're here. It's a great connection. From where, where in Ukraine you. are you today? I can't tell you exactly where I am, oh. but it's very snowy here. Is it? You guys we have, have a lot, a of, lot snow. of snow. Yes, I don't think yes, a lot of people I don't think a lot of people realize that you're uh, Ukrainian or that because I know you don't no. use that accent when you work. No, I don't. I don't. I work Why? very hard. Why? Because uh, because people want Americans and British people. They don't want foreign people. And so how people, long... Did, people are prejudiced. Yeah. And how long did it take you to, um, I mean, to, to work? I mean, did it take a long time? Like, for example, when you went in an audition with Jim... Yeah. Did yeah. you have I couldn't the speak English. Nothing I at all? I couldn't speak English then. No, no. I had to learn script phonetically. Oh my wow. gosh, I had no yeah. idea. Yeah, that's why I started as chicken. Uh, oh, I learned I learned chicken phonetically. Bwak, right. Bwak. right. Oh, wow. And then you graduate, yeah. and then you pigs yeah. and so yeah. animals mostly at first. Right. Not all animals. Very all good. Animals. Very good. I couldn't I, I couldn't read, speak right. any English. So, so it was very difficult. Hired, why do you think he hired you? I was tall. The, the height. Oh. The height, I was tall, yes. Yeah. Because I work on farm. I'm very right. strong. Right. I'm very strong. And you know what? That makes sense now because I always read how Jim loved the balalaika and he used to practice yeah. it between yeah. between projects and things. Yeah. So did you did he do that? bond with that? I like balalaika. I don't play. I don't play. 
No. It has too many memories for me, but I like the sound. Mm. And Jim liked, because I work on farm, I do very good animal noises. Right, um, right. So I, I can sound like pig. Did So you worked on a farm. Your family had a farm, didn't you? I remember you telling this great story about your grandfather's yeah, yeah. farm and how yeah, you yeah. would do the, how you had to pull the tail feathers and stuff. Yeah, I had to kill the animals, the chickens, and right. then pluck them. At and five or something, right? Five or six? Oh, something. yeah. Yeah, four. Four. Three. Yeah. Oh, well, you, you, as soon <laughs> as you could, before you could walk. Really? Yeah. Of course, you're out. I guess because you're out. closer to the animal, right? When it's easier small. when you're very small, yes. To catch yes, them, right, and, probably. Yes, and if they kick you, it's, you don't notice. Right. When you kicked right. by, you, you just fall over, get up. So, so um, was your grandmother entertaining? Was how, where do you get that? Where did you get your entertaining? Well, side? animals love music, you see. So they it's really the animals were a big part of all of this. Animals is 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 where it all comes from. Hmm. The animals love when you sing to them. Really, you sing old folk songs. Yeah. Is there That's one like you remember? Do you remember a yeah, song? I mean a chorus or something? No, the snow is me dark, the snow is me dark, the snow is And it goes on. It's beautiful. What does it, it mean? For it's beautiful. What does it mean? It means the pigs are so beautiful and sing till they get fatter. <laughs> <laughs> and then you kill them. Then you kill them. Oh my gosh, that's amazing! Well, they go out. You know, they go out with a beautiful song. So it's yes, it's yes, yeah. and it soothes them. And then you can slit their throats easily. Right, right. <laughs> so. You think that's funny, slitting your <laughs> No, I, I, you was thinking of, I was thinking of a, a scene from The Muppet Show. All right, look, I think we did it. <laughs> <laughs> they made me do it. I didn't want to. They made me do it. Any, anybody in the chat believe it? <laughs> yes, wait, wait. There was something here. Hold on. I know I saw it. Look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh, God, Louise. That was so funny. Oh, my um, God. The animals. <laughs> oh, God. So good. It slit their throats. At least they had the song to go out on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Louise. Hi. Hi. I didn't really grow up in a farm in the Ukraine. I oh, you did. It's a shame no, you didn't. It was a good story, though. I would like to have. Yeah. <laughs> that was a story of how I wish it had been. But no, I grew up in a very normal... Well, no, actually, I didn't. I was in a madhouse with lots of animals, but oh. we didn't slit their throats. Right. <laughs> we just kept them as pets. <laughs> yeah. We just oh kept them as pets. Oh my gosh. But so are you uh do you have brothers and sisters? Are you I do. I have a brother. You do? He's yeah, yeah, yeah. And my brother Max. Yeah. And did you guys where did you like Gene and I when we were kids, it was all about like performing and doing did you guys do that kind of stuff? Yeah, a little bit. I bossed my brother around a lot because uh -huh. I'm two years older. So you no, not Louise. Yeah, I, no. so I was very bossy and horrible. <laughs> um, and I do things like have put on shows in the shed and then right. charge people a penny to come in. That was Gene. And sing some. He oh, okay. Fair enough. Yep. Yeah. And he was like my elephant man. I would have him in the back in a cage. <laughs> <laughs> I just spit. Did you see my spit take? <laughs> Hey, my first good pick I got. I love it. I love it. I, yeah, I, do, I just remember bossing everyone around. I feel really embarrassed now, but sort of putting on shows and going, don't do it like that. No, that's not right. You've got to do it right. Yeah. Just no one ever did it right. <laughs> really angry. And it was personal. Very personal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, you know, 
I, I'd like to start with something that I think most people actually don't know about you. What's that? Well, and I think you know, no, and I, th I think you might know what I'm going to ask. It's about your toured love affair from the Muppet Show days with Peter Harris. <laughs> I, every every <laughs> every week, I would bring him freezers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, did you know that Peter Harris? That was he had to have freezers. No. Peter Harris, for those that don't know, was the director. Yes. One of the directors. There was Peter Harris and Phil Casson directed the Muppet Show, and Peter Harris was the Liberace of directors. <laughs> oh my god! He wore everything was gold. I have my silver Kermit. We all got silver Kermits. Oh, that's your Kermit. Oh yeah. Okay. Peter dipped his gold because his he only gold. wore gold. Right. And he wore gold jewelry and, and pink and one. baby blue, powder blue, yeah. right? And he had to have freesias put in the box for their what lovely freesia? smelly be they're flowers, but they're they're oh. lovely, lovely smellies. But he had to have oh. freesias every week. And you used to bring them to him, really? Or I didn't teasing? really. Oh, I right. didn't okay. really, but people did. People oh. did. Right. right. His people. His people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he directed, he did animal. Did he do animal show? I've got oh, so yes. many shows. Yes. I don't that's know. Yes. I first, okay. That's, that's where I first met him. Yeah. 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 I mean, he's iconic, right? He was yes. the Muppet Absolutely Show director. Iconic. Yeah. Can you tell what what can you can you tell us more about? Because I don't think people like we always talk about the performers and you know, yeah. it's, and I would love people to hear like some do you have like a, a story maybe about Peter that you remember in particular, or just the feeling of what it was like? Well, he he was incredibly. I mean, if you were playing a camp flamboyant director, mm. it would be Peter. He had blonde hair. He had a Rolls Royce. He drove it a Rolls Royce because I got a lift in it one time because you know there was no noise. <laughs> um, the Rolls Royce, um, and he would would go into terrible rages about things i think he might have broken some glass a glass door slamming a door maybe when we were doing wow. animal show because he got so furious about something <laughs> i remember on a, yeah the thing i remember on animal show was because i think he and you tell me but he just felt, felt uh, seemed like a person who just expected perfection right so yes it yes. was like you need to you know we're not we're not yeah. doing this a hundred times you're going to get it right the first time yeah and otherwise, you're wasting my time, and I want somebody else. And so, <laughs> I remember we were doing. He green... really wanted someone else with you, Bill. I know, <laughs> I know. I remember we were doing a green screen shot, and <clears> though <throat> if people can picture this, there was the stage, but then behind this big black drape, there was a staircase that went up to the director's booth, and he oh, was yeah, in yeah, this yeah. room, and there was a door to that room. And we were shooting down on the stage and we're doing a green screen shot and Mac happened to walk by in the background by mistake during the, <laughs> during the take. And all you heard was, who in the van? <laughs> but, you know, stepped into yeah. my shot. You owe me a bottle of champagne. Don't parry me on yes. you. And he cursed and then slammed the door and you could hear, I think there was a window there or something. Yeah. And there was yeah. a big crash and everybody yeah. was like, oh, my God, oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. yeah, there was always champagne, though. It, you always had to get him champagne if, if things went wrong. Oh, is that, his, that was a tradition? Yeah. Well, champagne, right. yeah. yeah. And we got, didn't you get awards? Didn't we get awards? I think he made us, like I was the quickest animal to do oh. my... Oh, to, right. Or maybe I was the loudest animal. I don't know. <laughs> but he made us um, posters, that's, awards. Forgot. There was an awards thing. Yes, that's and I can't right. remember whether I – I don't think it was really good, really, to shoot your animal quicker. But I think <laughs> to just do it quickly, not well. That, well but we had well, no choice. Quickly. Oh, oh Bunny. Oh, Bunny and Armstrong. Oh, Bunny Bear. Oh. Um, oh. Yeah, well, we had to go so fast it was like a conveyor belt. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. all the different guests, yeah. and yeah. Um, but you know, he did just a little thing. Just one last thing about Peter is, um, when I told him I was going to uh, propose to Christina, he set up a, um, a a reservation for us at the Dorchester. He got he was so excited <gasps> oh, for us, and he called the Dorchester and he set up the dinner and he wanted me to do oh. it right the right way and you know. Uh, oh, I didn't was, know that. Yeah, it was so sweet. I didn't actually propose to her there, but he really was like. <laughs> 
so excited. <laughs> did you tell him that you didn't? I did. I did. But, <laughs> but we had a lovely dinner and, you know, it was part of the evening. I proposed to her the next day. I walked her like around London for hours and exhausted her and then proposed to her. Um, so she, she had to say yes because she was exhausted. And yeah, she was pissed off and exhausted. Her feet, she had cow, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. she was in pain. Um, Peter was very, very kind, but very temperamental. Yeah, tough. Very tough. Yeah, I really felt like because, and for me, it was like a big new thing for me to do yeah. all these characters. It was my training ground. You know, you guys were all so good at being able to do everything, the character, the technique. I was still trying to figure out how to do it all together. And it was just, uh, I was scared to death of him at times, you know, because I just yeah. had to get it right. Yeah. To get and it, it right. was so quick. The pace was oh so quick. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. But, you know, uh, let's talk about Jim for a second. Oh, here's Tizzy. You got That's not Jim. About Jim. <laughs> Jim was a bee. Not many people know that. Yeah, That's but right. do you do you really think he was any good? Jim. Yeah. 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 Not good. Overrated. Right? Overrated. That's what like, I'm a saying. nice guy. A nice guy. <laughs> nice temperament. But, yeah. Um, I, I, with him and Frank, they're geniuses. Uh, genius. Frank. Um, <clears throat> wow. Well, sorry, oh. Frank who? Frank Oz. Frank Oz. Frank oh, Frank Oz. Them... No. Oh. <laughs> sorry, I, I misunderstood. Can either one of them do Ukrainian accents? Hmm, yeah. Think about that. I don't. Uh, that I don't know. And they're not so good with animals. No. <laughs> <laughs> no animal noises. When you came into yeah. this group, you know. Yeah. Um, what, did you have any sense of what to expect? Did you know what this was all about? Well, how, how did this... I don't think I'd even seen the Muppet Show. I pretended I had at the audition. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. I sort of, oh, yeah, the Muppet Show. I love it. What is it? What is it? Mm -hmm. There's a frog. Oh, I love it. It's Kermit the Frog. Who's he? Who's he? <laughs> I love him. Oh, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Um, yeah, I remember thinking I've got to look, I've got to look like I like this. <laughs> right. But the, the first thing was... I, I went out to the studio and it was, I think it was Milton Berle was oh, filming. The first per, first I, guest on that you were? I didn't work on that show, but I went out to see. Oh, I see. And just watching and thinking, oh my gosh, I'm watching, I'm seeing the people, they're not hiding, yeah. but I'm watching the puppets. This is incredible. And it's even more incredible when you see the people because you know, they're just people sticking their hands in the air and yet they're making this incredible thing happen. So that was when I started going, these people are good. Huh. They are good. Hmm. And how did you, what was your training ground for puppeteering? Was it just being there doing it every day? Was that you just, yeah. Cause they knew you were talented and funny and you could sing yeah. and they yeah. needed a female rights, so a voice and uh, for these and characters. I was tall. And you were tall, but, but I was so, so your training was, you, by the way, She's six, I'm, seven. I'm, a, <laughs> I'm five, nine. So I'm I'm not that tall. And I used to wear high heels some of the time to be as tall as the other guys. Just, oh, thank you. Thank no, she's you. A beautiful thank you, Andrew. Person. Very nice. Thank you, Andrew. I hope to meet you one day. Thank you. Um, sorry, what was that? Yes. Oh, uh, your height. So you find, But yes, you had to wear shoes sometimes to get, but you're, yeah, you're yeah. on the tall side. I'm on the tall side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and the your sets arms, were built. long arms. Yeah, I've got long, long arms. arms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so lanky, no, you I, use I the word lanky. The, what? The term is lanky. Lanky. Yeah. <laughs> Louise, you're lanky. Lanky Louise. I don't think so. <laughs> but maybe, maybe I'm lanky. Maybe I'm lanky. I don't I call know. It, I call it lovely. Uh, lanky, lovely, lanky, lovely. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I, I learned just by doing it. I was chickens in the background. There was the right. backstage set, and there'd always be crossovers of chickens. Yeah. And my first thing was, first of all, I did voices, and other people would work. Oh, for example, like what? what? What's an example? Well, of the that? very, very first thing I did was Chanson de Moor in three part harmony. Oh, my God. And with myself, and I was—I wow. remember going to learn it and going home because I was still living at home with my mum, and 
dad and and crying and going, I can't do this, it's so difficult. I got to do this. It's the first thing they want me to do. I got it. And I went back and Jim went, Oh my God, that's incredible. None of us could do that. Wow, amazing. Mm. And wow. you know, so the singing thing was something that I I mean, the, the guys they, all they... sing brilliantly, but in character, but as the characters. Right. But no, they Jerry. Yeah, clearly, it's, it seemed like he wanted to add a female quality, great s vocals, great song, because yeah. he loved music, right? Yeah. He was very much, he loved music so much, and it probably thrilled him to have someone like you there that could do all of that, you know? Well, it was just the best fun. I mean, doing with a full orchestra, because in those days, we had the Jack Parnell Orchestra, which was this top television orchestra, and we'd go in on a Monday and record with this amazing musicians. It was just, I mean, it was like my dream come true. Oh wow. my God. So you pre-recorded the three parts and then they played it back. Is that, was that the yeah. idea for that one? Yeah, at least? and then, right. yeah, for that one. Yeah. Right. And then and so, meanwhile, I was learning being chickens. Right, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna bathe you with compliments as we go. Okay. Um, do you, so, I don't know if it was the same for Thank you. Thank you, so, Benjamin. Thank you. Yes. <clears throat> for me, um, because I was studying to be an actor, and I want, that was kind of the route I was taking, a <laughs> route, um, it took me a while to, so I felt comfortable with my characters, right? Yeah. And then I did the puppet thing, and when I started to focus on the technique, my characters started to be, I started worrying about them like they got, <laughs> they were very good and yeah. very strong. And then when this got stronger, then I had to find how do I create the balance? Did you have to go through that same thing, you think? I I spent most of the years in The Muppet Show putting on more and more makeup and thinking, look at me! <laughs> why, why are they looking at my hand? Look at me! And it it was such a, a fight for me to go, because that's what's being in the shot. The puppet is the thing. And it was a real... A dilemma for me of wanting mm. i'm an actor i don't want to do this i want to be right. <laughs> and mm. i you know i had that for years of thinking and i would watch jim and frank and just think i can't do that these guys are un unbelievable they're geniuses mm. i can't do that um well there's them I and then there's the rest of us right yeah there's them and then the rest of us yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you know, watching watching the other guys who've you know Dave and Jerry and Richard and all the stuff and the, the beauty they brought to it, and thinking I can't, I'll never do this. It's too hard. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's just too hard. Um, so, so you did. I mean, you were because you do. You have done so many things as an actress, and mm -hmm. um, but so so the whole time were you trying to find the balance of auditioning for things outside of Muppets, but then being pulled back into yeah. Muppets and. <laughs> Well, what was incredible, Jim was so supportive, because I missed the last two shows of The Muppet Show. I just did the vocal record of, I think it was Debbie Harry and Gene Kelly, because I got Godspell in Leatherhead. Oh. Mm. And Jim let me go to do Godspell, because he knew that was what, what I wanted to do. And then, you know, I came back. I did the, the film was after that great Muppet caper and and then he asked me to come back to do Dark Crystal and sort of I went round to the house and he said would you would you be in this oh all right yeah all right. <laughs> uh, but he was so supportive of the other things and he would come and see me in shows oh, nice. and oh, cool. you know I and you know ever since I when I was in Germany doing Secret Life of Toys, and this was after Jim had died, mm. you know, they allowed me to have in my contract that I could have two flights home for auditions if necessary. Oh, and, right. you know, the, the, the company has been so supportive of that. And that came from Jim. And I think he knew that, you know, the way he supported Frank being a director, you know, that you had to support other people's talents. Right. And that in the end would bring them back to the company. And, and yeah. you, stay, you stay inspired and then you bring that energy back. Yeah. Yeah. And they so all they need off each other. And you think that yeah. was passed on to people like, I mean, Martin Baker, right? I mean, part of the yeah. producing these yeah. shows and knowing that, that that idea should be available to you. And that's really great. 
Yeah, no, I, I mean, I could, because when we did um, Christmas Carol, yeah. I got a job. I did an episode of the House of Elliot in the middle of that and went oh. off and did that. And the company have always, hmm. you know, supported me in, in going backwards and forwards. And yeah. I've, and equally, I've hopefully been there and done the stuff. And Oh, you, you know, have. Oh, my gosh. You yeah. created yeah. amazing things. I mean, amazing characters for the, the Jim Henson. Yeah. You know, I mean, the, for the Muppets, oh, my God, Louise, you're... Well, like but that. but it's it's been great. Do I have any memories of Richard Hunt? Yes, of course I do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Richard was my dear dear friend. He was my buddy, my mentor in Muppets. Richard helped me and insulted me throughout my days on Muppets. Uh -huh. uh, Did the insulting uh, help you? Very much so. I yeah. it, I I like that. I was <laughs> <laughs> happy with that. <laughs> Well, you know, it's funny because it's one of the things I remember going on to do a theatre job and someone said to me, you are so rude. Why are you saying these things? And I thought, but that's how we all are on the Muppets. Everyone's rude to everyone. And <laughs> why is that a problem? Yeah. <laughs> and kind of that kind of banter that is so loving. But if you don't understand, and, you know, that's one of the reasons that some people don't get fit. on and can do it and don't mm. fit, you know, the yeah. people who can't understand that. And why is that? I don't know. Whatever our backgrounds is, that we're sick, sick people <laughs> and can cope with... <laughs> well, <laughs> who I knew, knows? I know. I, I know when I met you, when I first met you, it was all right. We were right off, like, just right out of the gate, sarcasm, teasing. What did yeah. you make fun of, you know? Job. Uh, well, it would have been Treasure Island. Okay. Was it Treasure Island? Oh, no. oh. wait, because no, yeah, didn't just... we do Animal Show together after Treasure Island? Because wasn't there one season before yeah. Treasure yeah, Island? Yeah, and I didn't and then do we the did first one. Right. Yeah, 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 I think so. Sorry, and yeah. I have to say, I met a little boy on Zoom called Joseph who wants to be a puppeteer and is doing everything right. He's going to be Bill Beretta. And I said I was coming on... Uh, Bill Bretty, oh, Pepe the Prawn! <laughs> I love Pepe the Prawn! Oh, please tell him, please tell him. So far, Hola, Joseph. Joseph. Hola, my friend. Oh. I hope you're watching, okay? He'll probably watch it in the day. Come and play late. with us. No, That sounds but like he's going to be... A scene out of The Shining. Come and play <laughs> with us, Joseph. Come and play with us, Joseph. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, so Joseph, I guess that was you, that's very kind. Yeah, because yeah, it was on Treasure Island. Because you were hanging out with Christina, and you were telling me that you loved her and oh, you wanted to yeah. marry her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, here's a here's a question we I don't think we've had before. Can Louise share any anecdotes about being a left-handed puppeteer? <laughs> Imagine there's some funny things when you have to work with right-handed performers. Well, I think most puppeteers should be left-handed. I think the problem is. The right-handed world. Um, it's <laughs> sometimes it's an advantage. Sometimes it's a disadvantage. Um, on the Muppet Show now, most of the puppets have two hands because there are more puppeteers. I think so. You don't on the Muppet Show. All the hands were pinned. Right. So yeah. I would always have a, a right hand that worked that was rotted, and all the other puppets would have a left hand. Mm. So that was fine except if you're doing a dance routine and you're all doing the same thing and I'd have the different hat. And right. the, and also, it, it's weird getting physically close, you know, if you're in a line. Um, is it, you, is it, well, you tend to have to be on the right side of the group, right? If you're going, yeah, like, yeah. to, get, to, get, to yeah. get next to, it's harder yeah. for you to be on the left side of the group to get next to yeah. people, right? That's the, yeah. Yeah, you just have to sort of think it because of your arm and your body and how you right. yeah. how you work it out. So sometimes it's an advantage, sometimes it's not. Yes, but it's you know years, years, years. But we're all think it's most a lot of yeah a lot of the puppeteers are right-handed, but I think it's always great to have left-handed people. I I think it allows us to to have more variety. Like not yeah. every character has their guitar the same way, or they hold their yeah. stuff. Yeah, <laughs> with their left yeah. hand, you know. Yeah, makes it yeah. nice. Um, so uh, actually, I want to ask you about Dave Goals. 
I'm going to, I'm going to try. Oh, no, gonna, please just, don't. Just, just three please words don't. that describe Dave. Give me three words and that's all you have. That's all we need. I love him. <laughs> oh, those were the three words. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> all right. Okay. Very I nice. love him. I love him. He's, he's, the only one left now. <laughs> <laughs> no. Frank? Oh, we're not counting Frank anymore? He's done. Well, he's the only one left who's still doing it. <laughs> he's still doing who's it. Still, right. Who's yeah. still in there with, you know. Right. And, for, um, so, and really, why aren't Jim and Jerry and Richard doing this anymore? What's the, why, why did they give it up? I don't know. Isn't that I don't weird? Know. I think they got bored. It's weird, right? Why just all of a sudden just stop? You know what it is? They have a blog and it takes most of their time. Oh, they do blogging? Yeah. Wow. Speaking of Jerry Nelson. Yes. Um, yes. I could sit for hours and days on end listening to the two of you sing together and your harmonies and your voices. Did you, when, do you remember one of the first times you sang together and thought, oh, what is that we're doing? I, I was, um, I was doing something the other night, and I think the jug band, because they made Luby Lou, who was a jug band mm. character. Um, mm. so they were playing Henrietta's Wedding, and I don't know if that was one of the first things we did. Huh. I can't remember now. But Before, I, not even I on, just, the Muppet, on the Muppet Show, didn't you guys sing? To, I mean, yeah, that was on the Muppet Show, Henrietta's oh, Wedding. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, I thought you were talking about we it. Had, no, it Christmas. wasn't. Because cause a lot of the stuff that I did was the UK spot, which was the two minute spot that went everywhere apart from the US. Oh, the, right. show, the show was two minutes shorter in America. Mm. And a lot of, a lot of that was Jerry and me doing. Mm. And we just, I just, well, I, you know, I loved him. I mean, we did all kinds of different stuff, different mm. material as well. Amazing. Is, does the, um, now that Muppet Show's coming back, is, are they going to include those? Those two minutes? Does anyone I don't know. I, I, don't I know. think I think there's only a couple that don't for some reason. If I remember correctly, there's only a few, I think, of the episodes that don't have those for some. Right. I don't know. Because a lot I'll, of them would be like old-time music or English old-time music or like the, the piggy waiting at the church pregnant. Oh. Oh. So oh. they did things that I think might have been a bit dodgy for America. Oh, I see. Right that they knew you know they could do everywhere else but i don't know how that is now i don't know and you know what and maybe i'm wrong maybe they're not i i for some reason i thought i heard something about some of them weren't going to be but maybe i'm wrong maybe it's all we'll, no. we'll find out soon no. enough people are so excited yeah Aww. when's the last time you watched any of those Quite a long time ago. I do I do actually have most of them. I've got tapes. Oh, right. I don't have a tape player anymore. Right, right. No cassettes? <laughs> you don't you don't do yeah. cassettes anymore? No. no. <laughs> uh, so great. Deborah Forth is asking, and I don't know if you've heard the whole Truro oh. Daydream Zone. Um Um is it alligators from hell? I don't know. You I I think not, I can't I remember think the title. Alligators from Hell was one I remember that right. Jerry used to um, play. Yeah, I think that's right. One of my. Um, but um, so let can we talk about some of your characters before we go and talk about some of your acting world? Yeah, let's talk about oh. some of my characters. Not not that you're not acting with all of your Muppet characters, but um, thank you. Yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's some of my characters. There's so a few. There's, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, Mildred, who is on under, I can't point, Annie Sue, the yeah. Afghan hound, and then Mildred. Mildred was one of the first ones I did. And I remember Jerry Jewell saying, do, oh, the, the, no, well, no, no, she below, also did who? Wait, below um, Afghan hound, right? So straight down the left you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Is that Mildred or is that, that's who? Well, no, she was that. Not, Who's that? She did. Well, she. I think that's Zelda Rose. Actually, now oh, there's a sorry. story about that because Zelda Rose, when they first looked for a puppeteer, they got three puppeteers, three women yeah. to do a show each, and it was actually another woman who did the voice for Zelda Rose on the show. Oh. But then when they did it on the record, they got me to re-record it. 
Uh huh. So the actress who did it originally, I'm afraid, is not on the record. Now, now the fourth one down, Jean, from the left yeah. row, fourth one down. Now, did they steal Beaky's name from you? I just, that was Beaky, wasn't it? Well, that was Miss Piggy sold her soul to Alice Cooper and got a beautiful singing voice. So I was the beautiful singing oh. voice in a duet with Alice Cooper with that character, which was Miss Piggy. Um, I love that. was one of my favorite songs, actually. Oh, wow. I thought they called her Beaky for some reason. Is that, am I getting I that wrong? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't well, know. as far as I know, that character was just, she was, was kind piggy? of, Piggy sold her soul to the devil for a beautiful <laughs> voice. Right? right. With Alice Cooper. Um, Fenella's a great character. I love her. She's, She's fabulous. I love her. Yeah. Yeah. That's I, a, I mean, sorry, I was going to say. One of the things about it all. Yes. What were you going to say? No, no, no. I just real quick. That, that um, uh, Ed Christie designed her, right? I believe. Do you not know? You know, Chuck? Yeah, I think he did. I think it's an ad. I love her. I love her. She's Sorry. absolutely beautiful. Please go ahead. Um, no, it's talking about, you know, how all the puppets are part of you. Mm. And Fenella goes around giving everyone a hug and welcoming people. And, you know, you even if you don't like it, they're all bits of us. Yeah. And I agree. That's right. Yeah, I think we draw on, right? You have to. You have to make yeah. it part of you, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Should we? Um, should we? Well, hmm. I, I do want to the number. I want to. Yeah, talk. but before we do that, what? Yes. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, but I don't. Yeah, wanna... yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hold on. I don't want to finish the show without saying that I'm forever indebted to Louise for giving me one of the greatest days of my life. Uh, when I was over there for um, Treasure Island to visit, one Sunday you were doing a recording session for, I think, a radio. Mamma Mia. No, it wasn't was, it? No, it wasn't. It was, I, I think I was doing a record of Anything Goes. I think. That's not. Uh, but I was doing a recording at, it was. At, at, at Abbey Road was. Studios. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we spent the afternoon in Abbey Road Studios, which was just like stepping into heaven. Unbelievable. Well, it was just one of those things, you know, when you you give someone the greatest gift by accident <laughs> because you can, you know. But that's it's, first it's day something. I, I think that's the first time we yeah. met too. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. I know. I know. Oh my god! It's amazing. It was but just no, amazing. But, to be able well, to do but that. were you doing Mamma Mia at, at that, or was that the second time for Animal Show? Because I know Christina went to see you in the show. Oh, look, there, look, 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 look. Oh, there. Oh, there's my new bride to be. Oh, oh, yeah, you weren't even married yet. Yeah, she came to see me when I was doing Mamma Mia. I think she was quite shocked. Why? Well, because of my lewd behavior. <laughs> I did something lewd, lewd with a hairdryer, and I think Christina, she didn't, oh, she kind you didn't of shock her. looked, I don't know. You don't think? Know. She's hard to I shock. She's really? Not, she, she's not a little petite petunia by, you know. Okay. She's, she's a okay. tough cookie. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But it was when I had, my son was in the dressing room with me, because I think she maybe came to a matinee, but he was, he was tiny because I started the show when he was six weeks old. Oh, so wow. he would come into the wow. theater with me. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, what was so? Let's talk about. Can we talk about your your yes, out of Muppets about, world? Yeah, yeah. Well, I I've done a lot of I, I've done a lot of musicals, um, which which was kind of what I always wanted to do when I was young. My brother reminded me that I said. I want to be the best actress in musicals. Hmm. Hmm. Now, that's I'm still aiming to do that. But <laughs> I haven't achieved it, but to be, you know, to to find the depth. And I suppose, you know, that's what we're trying to do as puppeteers as well is find the depth and the truth and the heartfelt things in the fluffy fun. Yeah. And and and, and also it's a part of it like like cuz I love musicals too. But I think the hardest thing, when you see somebody in a musical that's really good at it, it's when they can make, because it's really, it's it's absurd in a way, right? Musicals, mm. yeah. it, you, it's, you break into a song, <laughs> which is so unrealistic yeah. in life. Yeah. 
but somehow people who are really good at it make it seamless. And that feels yeah. like a big challenge. Is that part of how yeah. do you, is that something you worked on? Like, how do I make this feel like it's really supposed to happen? Well, it's a bit like comedy that you have to, that, you know, if, if you're in a comedy, the tragedy is deeper, you know, you feel it deeper. It's more, and I did a show years and years ago called Nonsense. Mm -hmm. which is a ridiculous show and my nun had lost her memory and did a vent act with a nun puppet and um and there she is sister there mary is. amnesia and <laughs> it's ludicrous but the kind of the thing that kept me that rooted me was i read a lot about nuns and i thought you know my character is doing this for god she genuinely believes however mm. ridiculous this is she yeah. has a great faith and it was really important to me to root that in something and we'd have a lot of nuns and priests who would come to see the show and loved it and and were really would sit <laughs> we'd look up and there'd be nuns sitting in the box <laughs> and just having a lovely time and they'd love it if we mentioned their particular franciscans or whatever it was right <laughs> get a real buzz out of that so i felt i felt it was really important to honor that yeah yeah within ludicrous it was well and that's it right i mean that's why you're so great is that your, your character is always grounded in reality and and yeah, as absurd as they may be what's on top of it you're always rooted in you know that's what makes it funny that that's what i always loved about the muppets you know with jim and frank yeah, yeah. it's not about just being over the top and crazy it's about they're real but in these bizarre set of circumstances and, and their body and, you know, uh, these yeah. characters are inside of these animals and whatever you want to call them. Right. Well, and the, the, the need to make that show good and to try and, you know, Fozzie desperately trying to think of funny jokes and wanting to be good, you know, and Kermit trying to hold this together and get this show on. Mm. And, you know, the, the heartbreak of it for him. And yeah. without that, there's nothing there. Who cares? They're just right. doing silly things. But yeah, then yeah. Gonzo, you know, Gonzo is trying to do these wonderful, ridiculous acts yeah. and the hubris of it. But but yeah. unless it's rooted in something. Some anchored, truth. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Is, um, do you have uh, Do you have a favorite? show a musical that you've always wanted to do but you haven't been in i always wanted to be in annie get your gun now annie get your gun is a bit problematic these days because there's all kinds of um <clears throat> weird the you know native americans and all the right. kind of stuff in it that i think right. doesn't work but that was my dream i did calamity jane which is kind of a oh, bit right. the same Mm -hmm. I, right. did, I did a production of Calamity Jane, which so that's the nearest I'll get now. Oh I wow! I'm not yeah. Oh game. my gosh, Annie, get your gun. You'd be. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, then how about that. how about your second? Now, if you can't do that one, what would another one be? Uh, I don't know because you never kind of know. Like I did, I was one of the strippers in Gypsy, and I got to play Mama Rose for three shows. Uh -huh. for Imelda Staunton when she was off. And that was a dream role, and that was wonderful to do. Yeah. But I kind of feel I've done – it wasn't my production. Right. I would love to do that. Um, I thought, you told me once you were really dreaming of doing Give Him Hell Harry, but uh, it's just not <laughs> running as often as you used to do. <laughs> Give him <laughs> <laughs> What is he talking about? You don't know that? <laughs> No, what has given me hell, Harry? It's, it's um, now I can't think of the president's name. Who's Harry Truman. It? Oh, Harry Truman. Yeah, yeah. It's about oh, it's a one know. man show with Harry Truman. Oh, <laughs> I'll do that. I'll do that. No, but not, you know I've been so lucky. I did do Calamity Jane, which I loved. It yeah. was a, it was out in rep, but it was wonderful. I did Anything Goes briefly in the West End. How about Mamma Mia, Mia, though? That's huge. Mamma Mia is huge. You know, Mamma Mia was wonderful. Oh, my God. That was such fun. It was just such fun. And the audience were on their feet at the end every night. It was like being in a rock concert. Oh, it was man. just amazing. So, and, and you never quite know. The last show I did before lockdown was 
um, a small show to Hampstead Theatre called Botticelli and the Fire, which was oh. a weird set in Renaissance Italy, kind of now, kind of weird. Oh, yes, there I am. And I was Botticelli's mum. Wow. And I had to, Dickie Bow, who's Botticelli, was his mum. And I had to bathe him while he was naked. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Wow. But it was, I loved it. And it, but it was one of those things, it wasn't like I was dreaming to do that play because I didn't know what it was, but it yeah. came along and it was one of the, I loved it. So I just want to do, be available and do new things and, and just keep finding out. There's a show out there that I don't know what it is that is right. the show I'm going to love doing right. or the job I'm going to love doing. Yeah, And I sort of, I don't, I've been incredibly lucky. I didn't know I was going to be a puppeteer. I never planned that. Mm. And it has led me this whole strand of my life that I'm still, I mean, I can't believe, you know, that I did Dark Crystal again. Oh, my God. And then Glop, you know, these amazing things still, because I thought it would just be I did the Muppet Show and that was that. But right. no, I'm here still doing it. It's incredible. So yeah. I, I'm a great believer in being open and then things things happen you don't know what they are right but this is you don't know what's going to come along next no but but kind of being open and diving into things and the the challenge and yeah. you don't know what it's going to be you don't know I, I have a favorite quote i'm not a religious person but my favorite quote is you want to make god laugh tell me i have a plan right yeah absolutely yeah. absolutely you never know. Yeah. As long as you're open, I think that's really important for people to know that to be open like that. A lot of people feel like they have to take a certain path because either that's what they've been told they're supposed to do or they've convinced mm. themselves that that's the way to go. Mm. And boy, I, I tell you, I've gone different ways. Yeah. I didn't expect I'd be yeah. doing what I'm doing now. Yeah. You know, I really yeah. didn't. And you do. Well, I, you love, to... wait, wait, I, okay. I love that I'm still learning and. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I love you too, Dookie. I love you. My oh, baby. My it. baby. <laughs> oh, great. My baby. Uh, oh, well, yes. Geez, we didn't even go into this. How, I mean, Sesame oh. Street. You did like four seasons of Sesame Street or something? How many seasons? I, did you... I don't know. Oh, how many I did, but I did some lovely because I did stuff with Jerry. I did stuff with Kevin. Mm. Oh, what was my... I don't know. There's a bunch of characters that you did on. I mean, yeah, yeah so yeah. many on Sesame yeah. Street. I, I'm just so lucky. But I just, I, what I love about this job is I still feel I'm learning all the time. I've just one of the things I've been doing in lockdown. I've done a self-tape course because oh. oh. now to get a job, we're never going to go in and meet people again. You have to tape it yourself. Right. And I feel like it's a whole other, oh, wow, this is so exciting. And, you know, we're in this weird world. We're all stuck in our homes. Yeah. But I've met people on this course in Moscow, in Romania, in L.A., in London, you know, all these people around the world yeah. that we're sharing learning something new together well, you and also got involved in a, you got involved in a really fun project that we talked the about book. on the show glop yeah the character from glop who's who, okay. who's this character based on do you think wait, uh, wait who's she get what's she doing over there oh i don't know i think she's just getting something to eat yeah it must be Hello there. <laughs> Hello, lovely to see you. I'm just Hello. I'm just here. Oh. Hello, it's Miss Lady Friend here. I didn't know you were staying with Louise. Oh yes, I love it here. Oh she's a, she feeds me, gives she... me a little nip of whiskey when I want. <laughs> uh, have you had a little whiskey today? I might have done. Yeah. I might bit. have done. I might have done. <laughs> I might not have done. I might have done. <laughs> I, it you is have. very late here. Yeah. You're in the middle of the day. We're in the middle of the night. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, it is getting late, but 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 you're, but you're up, which is great. You're oh up. yes, I'm up. I'm yeah. up. I'm up. 
<laughs> Luis is the one who's, who's falling over on her side. I don't know. Yeah, look at her. Oh, yeah. She's passing out. But she's been drinking too. <laughs> hey, uh, do you want to play pick a number? Yes, I'd love Spin to. The wheel? Yeah. yeah, I'd love to. Oh, right. God, yes. I've Are you been excited? All you, night. I knew you were excited oh. for this. <laughs> That's why she accepted our invitation. Oh, well, what are the numbers? The choice between one. Well, there's we've showed a couple, so but but, but basically one between one and twenty eight. So well, twenty eight. We show the Abbey Roads. So twenty eight. Number twenty. I'm going to spin the wheel. Oh, so I don't choose. Oh, you're picking twenty eight. Yeah, I spin yeah. the wheel anyway. We did it. We did it makes no sense, but we do that. Um, Here's come. Look, it okay. came up. Number twenty eight came up on the oh, wheel. Oh, twenty eight. Brilliant. Okay. <laughs> 20. This is this must be 28. Oh, that's Black Adder. Oh, oh my god. Tell us about Black Adder. Well, how old are you, uh, old are you here? Like 18? I look very young, don't I? I do yeah. look very oh, young. Yeah. Um, I did Black Adder. John Lloyd, who produced Black Adder and is another genius. I've worked with a few geniuses. He worked on Spitting Image. Oh, and so when I was on Spitting Image, I wherever I was, I say, but really, I'm an actress. Oh. So I did a little bit on on Black Adder for him. Nice. So I screamed a lot. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, pick good. another number, please. I'll spin the wheel, and it'll probably come up. Fourteen. Ooh, good one. <laughs> We did it, but I'll pretend. Oh. No, no, we did it. We did it. Pick, sorry, you can pick another number. Oh. Sorry. It didn't come 12. up on the wheel. 12. 12. Okay, 12. Okay. All right, I'll go with that. Oh, Big Mama. Big, How big Mama. Big mama. Big mama come about? Was she built first and then you brought the character, or would the character come? How'd that work? The Big Mama existed before me. All right. Um, I think. I think Big Mama was the character I was in when we did the Royal Variety performance. Oh, I'd I'd bought an outfit to wear in the lineup because they said you have to wear something for the lineup. And then David Laser, who was the producer, said, "I'm really sorry, Louise, you're not going to be in the lineup. It's just going to be the guys. You're oh. going to be in your monster costume." <laughs> so I was standing behind, and Prince Charles came along the line and said, "Are there no women?" In the Muppets. Wow. And I came forward in my monster costume and went, Prince! Prince! <laughs> this was before he was married. It could have been Big Mama instead wow. of Diana. <laughs> I, uh, when I, I uh, got the opportunity uh, to do the uh, Royal Variety show later, and I was in a monster costume as well in the back, just watching through yeah. the mouth, you know, as Same they thing, went. Yeah. 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 And I also I got to meet the Queen Mother when she was alive with Fugetta Fafner, who was the ghost of Fafner Hall. Uh -huh. I was the Queen on Spitting Image. And um I got introduced to the Queen Mother at Nottingham Studios and I said, It's not often I get to meet someone who's as old as me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. She really didn't think that was funny. At she didn't laugh. <laughs> and you know, she moved on quickly. <laughs> <laughs> good for you. That's awesome. That is so yeah. good. Oh my gosh, that's hysterical. All right, let's pick a come on, pick a let's see. Pick another one. Oh look, no, I'm gonna pick one. All right. Pick one. Because I want to know about number 18. Okay. okay. <laughs> Oh, Kevin Klein, Pirates of Benzance. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. This is, there's Louise. Yeah. Yeah. No, Louise, it, Louise, wasn't, Louise wasn't playing Kevin Klein. <laughs> <laughs> That's a puppet oh, that of Kevin was, Klein, Louise did. Oh, that was amazing. That was... Um, yeah, Where did you shoot that? Pirates of Benzance. We shot it at Shepperton Studios. Oh, you did? And it was a weird one because the cast from the New York production came over to London, but not the ensemble. So it was all the leads from the American oh. Broadway production. And it was weird because the ensemble recorded the track, the singing, before we were even cast. Oh, wow. And oh. I was really upset because I sing. And, you right. Know, but, but we were miming to their voices. Oh. And it was kind of the sock to them because they couldn't come over here. 
right. then all the ensemble were cast with British ah. cast. Oh, wow. So I, I kind of was upset because I didn't get to sing. Yeah, get but to I sing. Did, right. But we did, we did dubbing of, of the voices of kind of, you know, the, there wasn't, there weren't any, it wasn't any dialogue, but it was brilliant. It was just fantastic. And Graziella Danielle, who was the choreographer of that, mm. Argentine, absolutely glorious woman, absolutely amazing. And Linda Ronstadt and Kevin Klein, Angela Lansbury, these amazing people. Wow. Absolutely amazing. Wow. I have a question about, you know, like I was saying earlier, we always talk about the performers and that stuff. Are there, are there like crew or um, people that you remember, like a great story of like someone that was either on the Muppet show or one of the a friends, somebody that you think about occasionally over the years, like, I don't know, a producer, well, we have, a writer, uh, any, you know, well, every, the, the, the Muppet show, you know, was a really team Thing. I always think of Richard Holloway, who was the floor manager, throwing penguins. Oh, yeah. Because they throw penguins, because penguins always got thrown in the air. Um, and Scooter, which was Guy, who was, he became Scooter because he was, you know, running around doing everything. Oh, so Scooter um, was based on him, on that person? Well, I don't know, but he got nicknamed was Scooter. That, oh, he got nicknamed Scooter. I see. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 So he was guy who was running around um and you know it was a there was a great team on the muppet show there was a great team hmm. and one of the things i like about puppeteering as opposed to acting is you're much more part of the team you're on the floor and you're down and dirty with the crew as an right. actor you kind of get brought on and you're a bit separate and you go to your dressing room and then you get brought on and you know, but we're on the floor. We're underneath. We're with the crew. We're in the yeah. dirt. Yeah, it all it I takes really everybody, like... right? Every it's it's truly a collaborative production. Yeah. You you have to rely on everybody, right? Yeah, yeah, much more. So I love that that you're part of. You're really down and dirty, literally. Yeah, literally. yeah, me too, me too. What was the? Were there similarities of coming back and doing uh, Dark Crystal? From the, I mean, did you have flashbacks or was it like, because I know, I'll, I mean, I've always heard stories about how heavy the costumes were and, and I'm sure they were again just because of the nature of the puppets. But uh, was there anything that, you know, no. Was nothing. better, no. No, it was worse. It was worse. No. It was, they were just as heavy, but we had to do more. And then, uh -huh. you know, when we were just getting the hang of it, they said, right, now you've got the Skeksis, you've got to run around and have a sword. Oh. A really heavy sword as well. And then, oh, there's some armor as well. And a jump So it rope. just got harder. And yeah, yeah. Oh it was God. so hard. It was wow. Hard. So we did our best. It's amazing. It <laughs> looks incredible. The work is but it was, really great. It was really tough. Really, really tough. That's what I heard. Really hard. And I'm 30 years old, <laughs> and I was still in my same Skeksis. They said to me, Lisa Henson said, you don't have to go in a Skeksis. And I said, I'm bloody well well. <laughs> nobody else, nobody else is going in my Skeksis. I said, you won't put anyone in my Skeksis. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I told her. Good for you. Louise. Yes, I said I could still do a Skeksis. Good for you, right? Age is, age is a number. Age is a number. Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. <laughs> spin the wheel. All right, come on. Spin Here, pick the one more. Wheel. We've got one more number, and we're going to – we've kept you, I think, long enough. Uh, but let's spin – Is everyone on board? Has everyone gone home now? No, no. We'll keep going. I'm, I'm worried that we're keeping you. It's like, you know. Here, are you on I'm wide awake now. The longer she sits there, the more she's sharing it. the bottle with Mrs. Um, yeah. Mrs. Yeah. What oh, brought you? Yes, I have what brought you? Well, the sad thing about Sesame Street was I went to Sesame Street. Did I, was my first year when Richard had died? It was? 90? Well, 91? It was. Maybe. So Carol was there, and Carol was wonderful and friendly. I'd been, I'd visited Sesame Street, and I'd seen Jim and, and Richard working, mm. but I actually went there after they had both died. Oh, oh wow, wow. Very, very sad. Wow. Um, and I was thrilled, you know, Sesame Street. Oh, thank you, Jesse. I love Jesse. Lovely to see you. 
woman. Um, so yeah, what was it like to go there then, knowing that they had gone past those two? Well, well, I don't know. You know, that's a kind of silly question. I apologize. Yeah, it was it was really fun. It was great. <laughs> We laughed. Too. we laughed. Everywhere we looked, we felt we felt them, and we laughed. <laughs> well, we, but you know the thing. The thing about it is that you know it's tragic. I miss them both to this day. But yeah. I also treasure, treasure, treasure the time I had with them, and you know what I the lessons I've learned from. Jim and Richard, I will carry with me for the rest of my life. You know, how privileged was I to work with them both yeah. and have them both as my friends, you know, and um, to carry that on and to be, you know, as we all are, we're all flame bearers. Yeah. Do I have tips? Yeah. Oh, gosh. What are my Avoid tips? Bill Beretta. Bill Beretta's a nightmare. Don't work with him. <laughs> no, um, watch practice now you can do it with a phone you can film yourself you can do it at home you know now is actually not a bad time to practice you know people are all at home film it right. you can get a tripod for 20 quid just film yourself on your phone do it do it and oh. when i started oh, no gene not, no she means film with a phone not not use a phone well i guess you could do a phone puppet yeah oh, okay i haven't seen a I haven't seen a phone puppet. Right. This is great. Just great. Invent <laughs> but what, what I was saying to somebody else was, don't do, um, oh, I do a really good Kermit, or I did, we've got mm. Kermit. Think of what you want to say and what you're, because Jim, you know, those characters are there. They're dumb. They're, they exist. Do your own thing. Make your own thing. Show your own story. That's the most important because you have, you have something really, really special. If you tell your story, and we all have our thing, that, that yeah. you have to find and you have That's to. That's great, tell. great advice, and and the, um, I think we all draw from. Oh, on, oh that's great. Yeah, I meant to hit this one just to give you. A... Oh, oh yeah, that was you. amazing! Oh my gosh! Thank you. Um, uh, that that. Uh, I, I draw like I tend to draw on people around me or people that I meet and always looking like I'm always looking and yeah. seeing who's around yeah. but then there's that part of you that what can you add to that that what's that yeah. unique thing of yourself right yeah. yeah yeah and that's that's what all the original Muppet performers it was them it was aspects of themselves and that as a performer and it's kind of you know, here I am all this time on having been thinking, oh, I get it now. It's mm. just me. You know, for years I was like, how can I be like whoever it is? Oh, they want me to be like Tracy Ullman or they want me to be, they really want so-and-so. Mm. But I have to find what's the Louise thing that's special to me. And that's all I can give. Can and it's special. And every one of us have that. Do you think you can de define what the Louise thing is? Is that Ukrainian? Ukrainian? The Ukrainian animal noises. And <laughs> <That's, laughs> throat slitting. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite. It's quite. Um, a throat quite slitting a Ukrainian thing. animal lover. Yeah, it's but it's mine. It's right. dark, it's but you. it's mine. It's yours. Take it to the grave. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. think that's a good way to finish. I think that's. <laughs> We've come full circle. <laughs> we're back with the Ukrainian animals. I, I think we're back. I think we did it. I think we went all full circle. This was awesome. I had so much fun with you. Thank you so much for doing oh, this with thank us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I you. I miss thank you. Thank you. When are we going to play one day. again? Yeah. yeah. One day. We will. One day. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll just Zoom and we'll just hold puppets up and just do stuff. Do we have to hold the puppets? No, we don't. But you have her there, and <laughs> yeah, I have this She's dopey. I have this dopey little rubber shark. I could, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now that is a cool puppet. That <laughs> is a light puppet. Very light. Yeah, I, that is yeah. a light puppet. Light puppets are good. Billy puppet. Yeah. 
See him? Oh, I don't know if she can see it. Somebody made Who's that a, Billy? They made what's no, his name? I forgot. Puppet. I feel bad. I feel Jared Butcher. This puppet is actually a me puppet that I, I then I went to a charity shop and got the clothes for the Oh rock. wow. Wow. That week charity shops were open for She has your open. curls. Yeah. So yeah. that was it. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. We were, we were doing a show, and I just made a really quick oh, sketch. I love it. We had the puppet during the show, and Jared contacted me and oh. said, Do you mind if I make a puppet of it? And he, and he made it, and he sent it to me for free. And The nose is accurate. Yeah. Yeah. We had yeah. to make sure to keep the nose accurate. Yeah. But well, yeah, a lovely guy called Chris Kendall made this. I have to plug him. Chris Kendall, and, yes. Uh, and it was a birthday present from Warwick Brownlow Tyke. Gave it Warwick, I the only have best. puppets that are given me by friends. I see. Yeah, Warwick's I the best. Don't... What a lovely guy he is. He's not the best. He's not well, the best. Well, he's a lovely but guy. But is he listening? Uh, if he is, he's not the best. <laughs> he is a lovely guy. But all puppeteers <laughs> are lovely. Puppeteers no, are nice. No, they're not. No, what do you who mean? Are, who aren't? Come who? on. Name names. Come on. Who name names? All right. Kevin Clash. Oh, Matt Vogel. Matt Vogel. Oh. Frank. Uh, Peter Lynch. Frank Oz. Mm. Oh! Right? Oh. The worst. Uh, who else is bad? <laughs> who? David Rudman? Worst. Worst. Uh, Bald guy from Colleen. Ford. Colleen John. Smith. Hey, Colleen John. Smith. Terrible. Yeah. Carmen. Uh, Alice Denny. Alice Wait. Denny. Ah! No, right, I don't, I don't like her. Can we just be like, who's a good one? Save ourselves oh. time. Well, that's hard. Well, there's there's Louise and me. True. Yeah. Well, it's us. Basically, it. just <laughs> us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>